believe that by taking a leap of faith into the unknown, we can begin to grasp what the unknown is and no longer fear it. Three years ago, I made the choice to put my education on hold in order to identify my true values, which allowed me in turn to introspect. Part of me had thought that I wouldn't actually decide to commit to education, but I began to ask myself what it was I truly valued. I was terrified I'd be throwing my life away, and in truth, I was scared of change. However, I managed to find solace in differing pursuits, from being the frontman of a band to working as a car salesman full-time. It's ironic because I knew I loved creating art, whether that was through music, a world full of drawings, or little films to feel at peace with myself. The irony stemmed from not recognizing the educational opportunity in front of me to better hone my skills. About a year ago, I made another significant choice to move out. At the time, it was a big deal for me because I felt worried that I'd feel alone but it actually allowed me to put things into perspective after a while. In time, I began to understand what was calling to me. Something called for me to act. I was afraid, but in the face of it, if one can stand against fear, one can become stronger than they originally thought they could be. Ultimately, on a split-second decision, I decided to muster up the courage to attend school. And little did I know, I was going to be left dumbfounded. A uh, little side note here, I, I just kind of wanted to elaborate more on the point of me leaving home. Um, this might be a, a chance for you to get to know me better, um, but you know, I left home A, because of my mental health being there, but B, you know, when I when I moved out, I didn't realize how bad it, it was there. Not necessarily that it was like abusive by any means. It, it definitely was not that. You know, I, I have a great family, but I didn't realize... <sighs> I didn't realize how much freedom I have being alone and that opened up a lot of opportunity for me and and clarity in my thinking process and how I was you know able to kind of evaluate things as a whole I have too much in my pockets I wish they were So on the first day, I was still very pessimistic and I'd exercise my thoughts and beliefs around the idea that, you know, I can find all this information online. So why should I spend all this money, you know, on, on courses, plain and simple. But I came to realize that it's not just about that. It was about connections. Just think I'm too orientation day, I heard about a surprising addition to our curriculum called leadership. I was confused, but I just wanted to take the time and ask myself, why? What's this class's relevance in regards to what I'm taking? How could it benefit my peers, my colleagues, what's it matter to the industry, and then it hit me. Throughout my life, I've harbored a deep desire to lead. I can be an unwavering and stubborn person when it comes to getting what I want done. 
I also believe the degree people look up to me can vary, but I'd like to grow into the person I know I'm capable of becoming. Shouldn't that be everyone's goal? The concept of leadership to me is not a one-size-fits-all concept. It's an idea, and with action, anyone can be a leader with the right team and mindset to bring it into fruition. A good leader needs good traits because without good traits, that leader is simply a bad one. In my eyes, in order to lead, one must have humility, communication, resilience, and the power to understand and inspire others in the way they want to be inspired. That way, if someone can lead a team accordingly, that team can begin molding together the framework of what everyone wants and create a collaborative success. Obviously, there's a wealth of information to learn about being a leader. Not just that, but being a good human being to others. It's hard sometimes. We all have our own moral compass to govern our actions on how we approach things. And some things are just bound to collide. But if taken the time to properly and effectively lead, we can learn to begin empowering those around us, making the right choices or taking accountability. Each of these actions all play an integral role in defining what a good leader is. With that said, I want to be able to hold myself to a high standard in class where I have the chance to take charge and inspire those around me. It's obviously easier said than done, but I know the leadership class will give me more of the skills I need as a student to become one that leads. Not just me, but those around me as well. Because the role I play is equally important as everyone else's. And the future of this class could play a vital role in not just teaching, but showing us what a leader can be. I see that this class has the potential to instill good values and beliefs in a people in order to ensure not just the film industry, but any industry as a whole is looked after by those who support each other's artistic vision and identity. Because in the end, when you're in a workspace together with other human beings, I believe that is what matters. Thank you.